For those of us gardening in warmer states but also have a chance of frost, knowing what to do during those frosts will make or break your winter garden. If you garden in Florida, winter is our best gardening season, but here in the Tampa area, we do have a chance of occasionally quick frosts. For example, Monday, Tuesday night, North Florida is getting unseasonably early cold freezing temperatures. So let's talk about what plants are going to be affected, which ones aren't, what to do to help those affected plants, and how to best prep our orchards and our gardens for cold weather. Doing a few things can greatly extend our growing season here in the south. Not a plant, but if you live central to North Florida, now's the time to bring your worm bins in for the winter. Another category of plants that are recommend bringing in for cold snaps, regardless of whether they are traditionally frost tolerant or not in the ground are newly potted or young plants. These are much more susceptible to frost damage than older plants that are in the ground. Some of my favorite plants that are frost tolerant, so down to about 20 degrees Fahrenheit, are brassicas. So cauliflower, broccoli, kale, cabbage, all of those are great during cold snaps and you don't need to do anything with them. Most herbs like parsley, oregano, rosemary, and thyme, those will do fine during cold temperatures as well, along with onions, and chives, celery, and carrots, and most root crops will do just fine in cold temperatures down to about 20 degrees. And that's why those are the plants that are always on my recommended seeds to start for fall winter here in Florida. Definitely check out the caption where I've listed the frost tolerant plants that are common versus the frost sensitive plants that are common. So if you have plants in your garden now that are on that frost sensitive list, those are the ones that we're talking about next of how to protect. If you do nothing else, water your frost sensitive plants really well before the cold snap because it's been shown that while hydrated plants tolerate a frost better than dehydrated ones. Mulching around the base of your plants protects their root systems from cold weather so that is very helpful. I do this both in my garden and around my fruit trees. If you're doing this to fruit trees make sure that your mulch is not touching the trunk because it can lead to rot. It's also extremely helpful to cover plants, whether it's with blankets or dome covers. You don't have to have plant dome covers or plant blankets. You can use sheets, you can use storage containers, whatever you have on hand that can create a little warm insulated bubble for your plants for those brief overnight frosts. If you're using these for brief overnight frosts like I do, make sure that you're putting them on at night before freezing temperatures start and then removing them in the morning after it's warmed up past freezing. If you're expecting well below freezing temperatures for a few nights, one thing you can do to go above and beyond is to wrap your plants or your young fruit trees that are frost sensitive with incandescent holiday lights. Has to be incandescent, the LEDs will not work for this because they don't heat up as much. And then you can cover it with your sheets or your containers. This, in my experience, has saved many a plant and a tree here. And if you don't want to do any of that and you want just a 